Leah Bryant, Global CMO at Assembly, and we're coming to you live from Sport Beach at the center of the 2023 Cannes Lions Festival of Creativity. Um, and this is where we're celebrating the intersection of sport, culture, and the future of fandom with some of the biggest names in the business. Actually, right now, Spike Lee is on stage, so we're really excited about that. Um, I'm here with Bridget Boji. She is the brand marketing lead at Meta, and I'm really excited to have you here with us today. Thank you for having me, Bria. Yes. Okay, so you are responsible for some of the coolest tech brand um, engagements I've seen over the last couple of years. Thank you, that's very kind. Tell me a little bit about what you do and what you're up to right now. Yeah, so I'm a brand marketing lead for Meta. Um, I was on the team that launched the Meta brand and I spend a lot of my time identifying who are the proper creators and public figures, celebrities for us to work with for our campaigns to really show and highlight our messaging and our branding. We are a new brand. We've only been around for a year and a half, Meta. Um, and so, so much what we're doing now is identifying what our brand positioning is for consumers and really uh, making consumers more aware that we have a portfolio of technology and apps that they use every day that they just might not connect that are owned by us. Very, very cool. So as we're in Sport Beach, there has been a ton of dialogue around how brands can engage creators and athletes um, to build community. So if you had any best practices that you would give a brand who's looking to dip their toe in, what would that be? Uh, my biggest advice is just not to be transactional with your relationships with talent. So many brands will say, oh, we have this one campaign, like, let's see what artists we can work with or what athlete we can work with. And they hire them for this one engagement or one event and they never work with them again. For me, what's been the most beneficial has been identifying ways to integrate talent across all of our priorities and theirs. So one of those examples is Kid Super. He's our hero talent, fashion designer, like really tremendous voted by Vogue is like someone to watch um, just really a, an amazing um, and well-respected streetwear designer um, and artist and so part of what we did working with him was we identified how he could be a part of our new brand campaign but also what was important to him and so something that's really important to him was showing at Paris Fashion Week and being on the formal program so we signed on as a collaborator um, partner and sponsor for that show because it was something that was important to him um, integrating AR and to his show and his playbill, um, thinking about like bringing the right creators and other partners, um, because for us, like we don't want transactional one-off relationships. We want we want our, our our celebrities and talent to really be brand ambassadors and continue working with us beyond um, whatever is that moment. So there, there's a sports component to this as well, right? Yes. Super has done yes. a ton of work with different athletes. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, so um, the campaign centered around um, NBA player Jordan Clarkson reaching out to Kid Super to design a suit for him for Paris Fashion Week. And so they collaborated in real life um, through WhatsApp, um, create changing, exchanging sketches while Jordan is practicing and like Kid Super's designing. Um, and then they got together and this outfit is actually going to be integrated um, into his fashion show on Saturday in Paris, which we're really excited about. But so, so much cool. of what we, why we picked Kid Super and why we picked Jordan for the campaign was we really thought a lot about um, subculture of NBA and basketball in general is massive for Gen Z um, and young adults. So we looked at courtside comedians and trends on social with them or like fan influencers, um, people who've built audiences with really their love for a sport. Um, and so part of why we decided to lean into basketball and launch this campaign on game five of the NBA finals, which ended up being the championship game, was because we knew that this would resonate with that audience and that subculture of fandom. Yeah, it's amazing when lightning strikes like that, yes, right? Like yes, how it never happens. You can never plan for, it, for that to <laughs> you be can't like plan it, the yes. final game. Um, so let's talk a little bit about shortening attention spans and like what that means for brands. Mm -hmm. Even for me, it's very hard for me to <laughs> concentrate. Look, yeah, it's hard for me to, to really like sit and watch content that's like longer than 15 mm -hmm. seconds. It's mm -hmm. sad um, mm -hmm. and I'm in marketing, so shameful. <laughs> um, but tell me a little bit about that. It's so hard now for brands to break through. Um, so how do you really hook and hold the attention of the audiences that you're looking to engage? I mean, I think the, the real talk is like where we might own a lot of the platforms, but 
but we're still a work in progress too. So, so much of what we have typically done are um, more like commercial first work or hero videos um, that we may put on social. So a lot of what we're doing right now is disrupting how we think about social um, and identifying ways that we can create like more social first content um, because we haven't always gotten that right ourselves so mm -hmm. transparently. So one of the things that we're thinking about now is just um, how do we partner with creators? How do we give them open briefs mm -hmm. where they can really um, create the content that they know is going to resonate with their audience versus us telling them this is the message that you have to do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a lot of what we're focused on doing now so mm -hmm. that we're really well positioned and in a place that like people don't see our content and cringe um, that they actually see our so content boring. yes <laughs> that they see our content and they say like oh wow like I didn't know this creator was working with meta or like that's really interesting um, that this filter is tied to basketball or fashion design um, that's a lot of the work we're doing now so for us it's not even always about um, social first content short form video because so much what we're also doing right now is we're building the metaverse like we know it's not coming tomorrow but you know we have to be thinking about AI and integrating that we need to be thinking about how we're integrating AR filters through every campaign that are custom and bespoke for the talent mm -hmm. we're working with so it really even expands beyond like how are people consuming tech on social mm -hmm. and what are other ways that we can resonate with um, really young adults and um, young audiences so so we're in Sport Beach. I don't know this about you, so I'm gonna ask. Oh, are, gosh. You, are you athletic? <laughs> okay, I am athletic in the sneakers that I wear. Um, that's like the most athletic I can give you. I can be your cheerleader. I can dress the part. So no open play? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know that if I got the basketball, it's not gonna go into somebody, the side of someone's head. <laughs> if, I, if I made an attempt or pickleball, like I might hit someone with the racket erroneously. So no, I don't, I don't think I have the skills to participate in open play. Maybe I'll come do yoga. I think I can, I can crush yoga. Um, but I will say, I, you know, I came with the part. I got on my off white. I really you know, appreciate this. I, I'm I ready. Look. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you, you for having me. Pleasure. I love I... sports sports beach. Like I really think it's incredible that we're centering athletes and like the stories of athletes and sports is a vertical here at Can. This is like such a void um, and an untapped area of how we talk about creativity and innovation and marketing and advertising and spo. So I, I'm super excited to be here and thank you for having me, Bria. Yes, of course. Anytime. <laughs> Always. But that's it for now. Make sure that you track hashtag SportBeach2023 and check out Stagwell's um, social media to get in on the action for the entire week.